I am going to take up a topic on wheat cultivation in India and abroad, which covers origin, geographic distribution, classification, economic importance, soil and climatic requirements, and varieties of wheat. Introduction India is one of the main wheat producing and consuming countries of the world. After the Green Revolution in the 1970s and 1980s, the production of wheat has shown a huge increase. As per reports of the Food and Agriculture Organization in 2003, wheat ranks first in area and production in the world among cereals. South and East Asia contributed towards increase in global wheat production In India, wheat is an important rubbish cereal, contributing about 32% of the total food grains production. Since the introduction of high yielding varieties in 1965, there has been a quantum jump in the production in wheat production and productivity. The report of Faustet and IGC showed India's production of wheat at 94 million metric tons that is 13.53 percent during 2011 and 12 against worth 694 million metric tons. The productivity of wheat has increased from 2.6 tons per hectare in 2004-5 to 3.14 tons per hectare in 2011 and 12. The major increase in wheat productivity has been observed in states like Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, which are the main wheat belt of the country. At the time of independence, the total food grain production was only 50 million tons, which became 72 million tons in 1965-66, and finally it touched to 206 million tons in the year 2000. It has been estimated that realistic demand for food will be 235 million tons in the year 2015 and 265 million tons in the year 2030. Wheat contributes to the total food grain production of the country to the extent of 25%. At present, India is the second largest producer of wheat in the world. Wheat being major cereal crop of the country can play an important role. Wheat is the main cereal crop in India. The total area under the crop is about 29.8 million hectares in the country. The production of wheat in the country has increased significantly from 75.81 million metric tons in 2006-07 to an all-time record high of 94.88 million metric tons in 2011 and 12. The productivity of wheat, which was 2,602 kg per hectare in 2004-05, has increased to 3,140 kg per hectare in 2011 and 12. The major increase in the productivity of wheat has been observed in the states of UP, Haryana, Punjab, etc. Higher area coverage is reported from MP in recent years. The production and productivity of wheat crop were quite low when India became independent in 1947. The production of wheat was only 6.46 million tons and productivity was mainly 663 kg per hectare during 1950 to 51, which was not sufficient to feed the Indian population. The country used to import wheat in large quantities for fulfilling the needs of our people from many countries like USA under PL 480. The reasons of low production and productivity of wheat at that time were the tall growing plant habit resulting in lodging when grown under fertile soils, the poor tillering and low sink capacity of the varieties used, the higher susceptibility to diseases the higher sensitivity to thermo and photo variations resulting in poor adaptability and longer crop duration resulting in a long exposure of plants 
to the climatic variations and insect pest diseases attacks. Origin of wheat. Various literatures show that probable origin of wheat is southwestern Asia. However, De Kendall believed that wheat originated from the Euphrates and the Tigris. The crop was believed to be brought to India by the Aryans and its cultivation dates back to the prehistoric times and as early as the Stone Age. Chinese records show that the crop was cultivated as early as 2700 BC. The extensive study of N.I. Vavilov on the origin of wheat came to the conclusion that durum wheat was probably originated from Abyssinia, whereas the whole of soft wheat, which includes the bread wheat, originated probably from Pakistan, southwest of Afghanistan, and the southern parts of mountain Bokhara. Geographical distribution of wheat. Wheat is well distributed all over the world. Leading producing countries are mostly confined in the European and Asian countries, including India. Countries in North America, South America, North Africa, East and Southern Africa, Oceania, etc., also cultivated wheat for different purposes. The countries, namely China, USA, India, Russia, Canada, European Union, and Australia account for 61% of the global wheat production. In India, wheat is a common rabi cereal grown mainly in the plains of the north, south, and western India, except in most of the northeastern parts of India. The major states that are involved in the cultivation of wheat are those located in the plains like UP, Punjab and Haryana. They accounted for nearly 70% of the total wheat produced in the country. Punjab and Haryana yield the highest amount of wheat because of the availability of better irrigation facilities. The production of wheat in other states like West Bengal, Kerala, Assam, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh have grown with the provision of better irrigation facilities in the area. Economic importance of wheat. Wheat is the second step of food of Indians, next to rice, consumed in the form of chapatis, dahlia, halwa, sweet meals, etc. It is used in the manufacture of bread, flax, cakes, biscuits, etc. The good nutritive value of wheat flour that is 65% to 75% carbohydrates, 13 to 16% moisture, 8 to 13% protein, 0.8 to 1.5% oil and fat, 0.3 to 0.5% mineral metals or S, 0.2% cellulose has made the crop more valuable for human consumption. Wheat straw is a good cattle feed and grain is good poultry feed. Presence of substance in wheat, coal, gluten makes essentiality of the crop in baking industry.
which plays a big role in the economic aspect of the country. Revenues in terms of crores of rupees has been obtained from the export of the grain to other countries of the world. The main wheat export destinations of India are Bangladesh, that is 84.84%, UAE, 30.84%, Pakistan, 13.41%, Afghanistan, 11.75%, and Thailand, 11.47%. Classification. Wheat is an annual cereal belonging to Gramini family and the genus Triticum. The classification of Indian wheat is as below. Number one, common bread wheat, Triticum vulgari. This species of wheat contains chromosome number 42 and is commonly grown in the Indo-Gangetic plains. Number two, Immer wheat. Triticum dicocum. It has a chromosome number of 14, common in the south and western India. Marcaroni wheat, Triticum durum. It contains chromosome number 14 and is suitable under drought or limited irrigations. It is common in the US, Canada, and Russia as well. Number four, Mexican dwarf wheat, Triticum estivum. This species of wheat contains 42 chromosome number. It was introduced to India by Dr. Annie Borlock from Mexico, hence the name. It is grown in all wheat zones of India. Soil and climatic requirements of wheat. As we all know that different crops have preferred different soil types and grows well under different climatic situations. Now let's have a look on soil type of wheat. Wheat grows well in a wide range of soil types. It prefers well-drained loam and clay loam soils, though it is raised under sandy loam and black soils as well. It requires soil of neutral reaction, that is pH 7. Heavy soils with good water retention capacity are also good for raising the crop, as rain or water is retained longer under these situations. Though well-drained loams and clay loams are considered ideal soil for wheat, good crops of wheat have also been raised on sandy loams and black soils of the peninsular region. Good structure and moderate water holding capacity are ideal for wheat cultivation. Soils with good drainage are suitable for wheat cultivation under dry conditions. However, soils with poor structure and poor drainage are not suitable as wheat is sensitive to water logging. Wheat can be successfully grown on lighter soils provided their water and nutrient holding capacity are improved. Let's discuss on the climatic conditions required for wheat. Wheat crop has wide adaptability to different range of temperature. It can be grown not only in the tropical and subtropical zones but also in the temperate zone and the cold tracks of the far north beyond even 60 degree north altitude. Wheat can tolerate severe cold and snow and resume growth with the setting of warm weather in spring. The best wheats are produced in areas favored with cool, moist weather during the major portion of the growing period followed by dry, warm weather to enable the grain 
to ripen properly. Areas with a warm and damp climate are not suited for wheat growing. During heading and flowering stages, excessive high or low temperatures or drought are harmful to wheat. Cloudy weather with humidity and low temperature is conducive for rust attacks. Wheat is widely adapted to different climatic conditions. The crop can be raised to an altitude as high as 3,300 meters from the sea level. The optimum temperature for seed germination is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, though it germinates even under 3.5 to 35 degrees centigrade. The average annual rainfall suitable for raising wheat ranges from 25 cm to 150 cm. Rains just after sowing is harmful for germination that resulted to occurrence of seedling blight. Warm and damp climate is not suitable for wheat production. Humidity beyond 60%, cloudy weather and low temperature during maturity period brings about rust diseases to the crop. An average of 14 to 15 degrees centigrade is congenial for maturing, beyond which grain weight is lost as a result of energy loss through transpiration. The residual energy hence lead to poor grain setting and lower yield. Varieties of wheat. Wheat is dependent on the nature of varieties that is being grown. Bumper harvest is being achieved depending on the varieties grown. Wheat varieties development in India began with pioneering research of Mexico and American scientists. Dr. N. E. Borlock, who is known as the father of green revolution in India, did a remarkable research of wheat variety evolution. The dark nasal norin wheat was transferred to spring wheat by Indian scientists under the guidance of Dr. Borlock. The dwarf wheat Sonora 63, Sonora 64, Lamarajo and maize were obtained through Rockefeller Foundation in 1963. Variety of crop plays a big role in the bumper crop harvest. Locally adapted, high yielding varieties, disease resistant varieties are to be chosen for a successful grain harvest. The varieties recommended for timely shown crops of different agroclimatic zones are For hill zones under irrigated conditions, the varieties recommended are UP1109, Giri Raza, Sonalika, HB208. And under rain fed conditions, the varieties recommended are HD2204, HD2418, HS277, Kalyan Sona, and Ridley. For northwestern plain zones under irrigated conditions, the varieties recommended are Arzun, UP2338, PBW154, and Log1. Under rainfall conditions for these zones, the varieties recommended are Kundan, Pratap, Mukta, PBW229, and Sujata. For northeastern plain zones, under irrigated conditions, the varieties recommended are Janak, HP1102, HUW206, K7410, Shekhar, and UP262. Under rain fed conditions for these zones, the varieties recommended are Sonali, HUW213, UP115, K9006, and HD2386. For central zone, 
under irrigated conditions the varieties are raj 1005 gw190 j405 zairaj wh147 and hd2389 for rain fed conditions under this zones the recommended varieties are hd2327 log1 swati j104 and sonalika for peninsular zone the recommended varieties under irrigated conditions are hd2189 dwr39 mscs 2496 and HD4502. Under peninsular zone for rain fed conditions, the varieties recommended are HD2610, DWR195, D2501, HI977, etc. And for saline soils, under irrigated conditions, the varieties recommended are HW741, HW972, HUW318. And for saline soils, the rain fed condition varieties are NP200. Let's now have a conclusion on this topic. In-depth knowledge on the probable origin and history of the crop under study, that is wheat, is required before delving into further study on the crop. The economic utility of the crop as a source of food and its commercial value in the market, the soil type and the soil reaction range, climatic situations congenial for growth and development of the crop, the varietal selection, the cropping system prevalent in the country, etc., have been standardized. It is well known fact that wheat fill the void in many food chain in India. Attaining food security had been a major challenge for the nation since independence. It is important of all the priorities that mankind have because food is the soul of life, physical economic and ecological access to food will remain our major challenge in the years to come where wheat would still be a source of livelihood for Indians. <laughs>